darlings and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm recreating the most popular doodle pattern spread that I made exactly five years ago, but this time I'm going to do it digitally. You don't have to have an iPad or an Apple Pencil to follow along, you can doodle on paper instead. Uh, yes, so let's get started. I will be doodling in Notability because it has a very great software in which you can make uh, a grid for your doodle patterns very easily. And yes, yeah, so here I am making a grid for the patterns. So some of you might wonder why am I recreating the same set of doodle patterns? Well, it is because the original video is actually being shown in many art schools and students have said that the video is too fast for them so they cannot keep up. Uh, therefore, I decided to make this video a little bit slower and also include a lot of close-ups so that it becomes easier for anyone to follow and to see the patterns more clearly, which can be a very beneficial thing if you are recreating the patterns at home. And I will stop speaking here so you can relax and watch me doodle. either use pressure sensitivity of your pencil or not. So that can also be very beneficial uh, for you depending on what kind of doodles you want to make.
So some of you have wondered where did the eighth pattern from the original video go? Uh, because in the video I immediately go from the seventh to the ninth pattern. Well, the answer is that I simply lost the footage and that video was actually the first video that I have ever edited in my life. Uh, but I do have proof that the eighth pattern was there originally. Uh, however, this time I am of course recreating the spread without missing anything.
thing that many of you have mentioned is that I triggered your OCD by missing a dot in this pattern. Well, your requests have been fulfilled and I am recreating that same pattern without a mistake this time so you can enjoy it fully.
final results and I do hope that you enjoyed this video as much as you enjoyed the original one. And here you can see how you can turn your doodle spread into PDF if that, if that is something that you would like to do. And comment below if you'd like to download the grid and the pattern that I made. Uh, give this video a like and I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.